possessing a Six Sigma certification proves that an individual has demonstrated practical applications and knowledge of Six Sigma. Some organizations offer in-house certification processes. Most people seek certification by enrolling in online or on-site Six Sigma training course. Most organizations that offer Six Sigma education also offer a path to certification. You can take courses for certification at various levels. Six Sigma levels are differentiated by belt level. White Belt A certified Six Sigma White Belt is familiar with the basic tenets of the Six Sigma methodology, though they aren't often regular members of process improvement teams. White Belt training is a good introduction to Six Sigma for auxiliary staff members within an organization and can provide the information necessary for understanding why project teams do what they do. The training lets employees review project processes, understand information presented in milestone meetings, and better participate in project selection processes. White Belt training can also be used across all levels of employees when organizations are attempting to implement a Six Sigma culture. It is worth noting that White Belt training usually only provides a very basic introduction and overview of Six Sigma so much so that not all Six Sigma professionals recognize it as a true Six Sigma certification. Yellow Belt A Yellow Belt certification is a step above White Belt, it is still considered a basic introduction to the concepts of Six Sigma, but a Yellow Belt learns basic information about the DMAKE method often used to improve processes. Six Sigma Yellow Belt training often includes concepts in Six Sigma roles, team development and management. Basic quality tools such as Beto charts, run charts, scatter diagrams and histograms, common Six Sigma metrics, data collection, measurement system analysis, root cause analysis. Yellow Belt training also gives an introduction to hypothesis testing. At the Yellow Belt level, training is often geared toward understanding of the overall methodology and basic data collection. Yellow Belts don't need to know how to conduct hypothesis testing but they must understand the language of hypothesis testing and the conclusions that are drawn from such tests. Yellow belts are often employees who need to know about the overall process and why it is being implemented. Green belts Certified green belts work within Six Sigma teams, usually under the supervision of a black belt or master black belt. In some cases, green belts might lead or handle smaller projects on their own. Green belts are generally equipped with intermediate statistical analysis capabilities, they might address data and analysis concerns, help black belts apply Six Sigma tools to a project, or teach others within an organization about the overall Six Sigma methodology. Green belts can be middle managers, business analysts, project managers, and others who have a reason to be involved regularly with process improvement initiatives but who might not be a full-time Six Sigma expert within an organization. Sometimes, green belts are considered the worker bees of the Six Sigma methodology because they undertake most of the statistical data collection and analysis under the supervision of certified black belts. Green belt training often includes concepts in all of the information listed for yellow belt certification failure mode and effects analysis, project and team management, probability and the central limit theorem, statistical distributions, descriptive statistics, how to perform basic hypothesis testing, waste elimination and Kazan, and also concept in the basic control charts. Black Belt A certified Six Sigma Black Belt usually works as the project leader on process improvement projects. They might also work within management analyst, or planning roles throughout a company. Common minimum requirements for black belt certification include everything listed for yellow and green belts in addition to advanced project and team management skills, knowledge of the expansive list of Six Sigma brainstorming and project tools, intermediate to advanced statistics, and understanding of other process improvement and quality programs including lean and total quality management and ability to design processes, advanced capabilities for diagramming processes, including flow charts and value stream maps, use of software to conduct analysis, such as Excel or Minitab. Master Black Belt A Master Black Belt is the highest certification level achievable for Six Sigma. Within a business organization, 
master black belts usually manage black belts and green belts, consult on especially difficult project concerns, offer advice and education about challenging statistical concepts, and train others in Six Sigma methodology. So, these are the different levels of Six Sigma certifications.